I'm Koolpaard. You can follow me on Twitter on, or on uh, Identica at, at Peter Koolpaard. Um, so, first of all, I'm very happy to speak for an international audience because, uh, yeah, this thing is quite international. Because if, if I would go to Italy, I don't know, know a lot of, about uh, Italy, I, um, I would have to find my way through the public transportation system. And so if I would um, want to take the train, then I wouldn't know where to find the right information because probably in the stations everything will be in uh, Italian. And I don't know, I don't know any Italian, sorry. Um, so I will probably look on my smartphone, but which websites should I check? What is the company that, that makes, takes care of this information? I don't have a clue. So uh, what do I do? I take my smartphone, I go to my normal application and I try to find the right information. But there is no such thing in Europe at this moment which gives all my information in one place and there is no such thing as uh, an application that combines all the different, uh, all the different um, companies in one app. So who are we? We are just a bunch of people we are people with commercial interests or people who just want to do this for fun, just like a normal open source community uh, who wants to take care of this problem. And at this moment we take care of, uh, of the NMBS, which is the uh, Belgian rail company. So we take care of public trans, uh, transport data for developers. Um, yeah, so anyone can use uh, our data which, uh, which is on a server on, uh, by uh, API. So we had some problems recently. Uh, in September we, we, were, we were doing all this, this stuff and, and uh, in July, sorry, uh, or in June even, uh, we got this letter which said we had to stop immediately with what we were doing. Um, yeah, with kind of uh, arguments that, that we didn't agree with. So there was a, um, an attorney, uh, Iwain van den Branden, I don't think maybe he is here, uh, over there. Thanks Iwain <laughs> for uh, sending uh, a letter back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, thanks to him, we're still up and running. And of course, yeah, uh, thanks to uh, Vincent van Quickenborne, uh, which is um, a minister here in our uh, in our country, uh, who who sent a tweet uh, to to put IRL back online, and we got a, a huge slash dot effect and, and all that stuff. <laughs> So uh, we are still up and running, and this is, yeah, this simple interface is, is what we do at this moment and what we have done uh, for for uh, two years long. And this is just um, a screenshot uh, of IRL.be, which you can uh, find all the schedules for um, uh, for the trains in Belgium. Only the trains at this moment, but we are planning on uh, making this bigger. So. This website connects through an API, which is uh, this nice XML interface. Um, and and uh, yeah, you can see various uh, data, which we, we don't show all in, in, the, the, uh, in the web interface. But uh, of course, there are uh, other interfaces, such as our apps and such as widgets. Or you can implement uh, something yourself, or you can use this uh, on your website to show uh, uh, how, uh, how your office deals with transport data and stuff. So uh, yeah, I won't feed the trolls, we also have JSON. So for people who don't like XML. Um, we have four requests in our uh, API. That's uh, stations, that's all the, the list of all the stops of uh, a certain public transport company. Uh, for, uh, for trains, this is obviously all the stations. For buses, this is all the bus stops, and so on. Um, we also have uh, connections. This is to plan a trip from to a certain place. We have a live board. Live boards are uh, stuff that you will see when you enter a station or a bus stop. You will see all the, the, the time schedules for the next uh, few trains that will leave or depart, uh, uh, leave or arrive, yeah. <laughs> uh, and we have uh, information about one specific vehicle. So you don't have to implement this API yourself. 
uh, you can, uh, of course, we have written a lot of code ourselves already. You can reuse that. All the code we write is uh, under a GPL uh, version 3 license, or you know, maybe some apps are uh, under uh, MIT, but that's the author's, author's choice, of course. Uh, for the lazy people who didn't go to project.irl.be yet, uh, scan it. <laughs> You got it? Right. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, go on. <laughs> right. So, uh, for the people who want to do a project with this uh, data, we started an NPO, that's a non profit organization. And you can reach us in several ways. You can uh, use IRC for the diehard hackers who also who always use IRC, such as I and you probably. Um, there is a mailing list. There is a, a track. So if you have a problem, uh, file a bug report. And we also have uh, Twitter and Identica. So uh, follow us on Twitter uh, and yeah, post a lot of messages in the Identica group. Um, if you have bigger projects uh, or ideas, please come to us afterwards. We will uh, answer this. Uh, we will like to answer this and work together, uh, maybe. If you are a public transport company, please come to us. We would, uh, we would very uh, like. We would like to work together. <laughs> So, uh, what uh, what is in the future? Um, we will do a new specification. So, uh, we will still uh, keep these four functions, but we will add functionality um, such as uh, such as more request parameters. We will use point of interest. So that's a POIs. Um, uh, such as I want to visit, uh, I was want to visit the Colosseum at at Rome. How do I get there from my home? Um, there are uh, more types of transport that we will uh, uh, that we will do. So, so uh, yeah, and, and of course more countries. So, if you have a country, probably you have a country. <laughs> please, uh, please, if you want this, come to us, and, and we will work together. If if you're not a public transport company yourself, we can we can do a scraping thing, or, or yeah, there are various ways to to, to solve this problem. So uh, with the non-profit organization, we will do our first general meetup the 14th of uh, February. Uh, yeah, we love public transport. Um, at Turat and Taxi uh, in Brussels. So if you would like to come, you're welcome. Um, yeah, and in the, that specification, we will... Uh, um, we will also uh, take into account the things we learned from API version 1.0, which are quite a lot of tickets which, which are still open. If you're such a person who entered the f uh, bug report for that, uh, we will solve that in, uh, in 2.0. So examples, we have btrains.com. Um, yeah, I, I will not show any screenshots of the applications because some people might be offended if I show an iPhone application or if I show uh, a Nokia-only screenshot. So please, uh, for your system, just uh, download it for Android and iPhone. Uh, it's in the i. Uh, in the App Store, so you can uh, install it very quickly. And for uh, Nokia, for the MIMO, MIMO platform, we have it uh, in Nightly. So go to that URL and uh, download it, please. For uh, Windows Phone 7, yes, we support that as well. Uh, Samsung Bara and BlackBerry Playbook, the, uh, uh, the app B-Trains is under development. You can help, of course, at our GitHub account uh, slash IRA. We also have uh, widgets which are uh, written entirely in, uh, in jQuery or in uh, JavaScript. And uh, the, these run live. Uh, you, can, you can go to widgets.irl.be uh, and give you the right information about uh, one certain station. So, thanks for listening. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope some people will come afterwards to me to ask whether their country can be uh, supported or a certain type of transport can be supported. So, if there are uh, any questions, I would like to take them. I think I have still five minutes left. <laughs> Can you provide for MIMO? Is it only for MIMO 5 or also for the other one? For uh, MIGO or MIMO 5 only or also for MIMO 4? 
Um, Could you repeat the question? Yes. Um, the, the question was, uh, can we uh, use this uh, for MAME of 5 or uh, uh, for the older versions? I'm looking to my uh, app developer and he says no, only f uh, for 5. Yes? Will we be able to download the schedule data? Uh, will we be able to download the schedule data? Um, well, for some companies, this is uh, this is a major ish issue because uh, they don't like to share their data in, a, in an open way and um, and afterwards, so that other people can can reuse that and and maybe they will work with an older dump, so with data that's not really up to date. So uh, transport companies ask us to to uh, to not uh, offer data dumps, but for some co uh, companies we will uh, eventually do that if they allow us uh, to do so. Yes? Have you ever encountered interesting technical contributors? Uh, can you speak up, please? Have you ever encountered interesting technical contributors? Uh, sorry, I didn't get that. Have you ever encountered scrambling or any techniques that these providers use to prevent you from scrambling? <laughs> Sorry, I really didn't get that. Have you come across techniques that the providers use to stop you from screen scraping? Ah, uh, no, we haven't. Uh, so the, the question was, uh, do providers try to, to stop us? And the answer is, uh, yes, well, we, we had this, uh, this cease and desist letter, but from technical points, we have uh, never uh, received any obstruction like that. So uh, we, we can road around that with, with trying other IPs and stuff, uh, if they would do that, but um, at this moment we we, yeah, we we don't like to be seen as an illegal project. We are we are really just some awesome people who try to be awesome for everyone, even the transport companies. Yes. What is the license of the data that you already have? Uh, yes, that's a very good question. What's the uh, license of the data that we already have? Well, uh, at this moment we only have the data of the uh, Belgian train company, but the Belgian bus company, the, the Flemish bus company, is, uh, we, we are uh, talking with, and we are talking with the, um, uh, the Brussels uh, bus, uh, bus company. Um, but the, uh, the data of the, the Belgian railway uh, company is really yeah, normal. And in our point of view, it's free to use. You can use that without any any uh, license, since there's. Um, I, I'm sure uh, Ewan, uh, who's uh, very close to you, will, will give a very. Uh, yeah, over the right. Yeah, in front of you uh, will give a very, uh, uh, very broad and broad answer to that. Uh, but uh, we we generally say we, we there are no copyrights on the uh, on the data uh, because of the second database law. You can look that up if you if you want or ask Ewan about. That. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Peter.